Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Tales from Amy's Crypt. Today I'm going to be telling you about a creepy little museum that I found in London and it's ghost stories. In London, tucked away in the attic of an early 18th century church, which was once part of St. Thomas's Hospital, lies the oldest operating theatre in Europe. It is connected to the hospital's old herb garret, which used to dry and store medicines for the hospital, and actually predates the theatre, which was built in 1822, long before antiseptics and anaesthetics were used. When that area was made into an operating room, it was an extension to the current women's ward. It was a very well-lit room where operations could be displayed to up to 100 students at a time. Patients were predominantly very poor, female, and mortality rates were high. They'd be willing to undergo this painful, deadly surgery without anaesthetic in front of a large audience simply just to get medical treatment. When St. Thomas Hospital moved location in 1862, the Herb Garrett and the old operating theatre were blocked off. That attic remained empty, closed off and collecting dust until 1956 when a man named Raymond Russell was researching the history of the old St. Thomas Hospital. He actually got a ladder, scaled it into the attic and discovered what was then the only surviving operating theatre in Europe. The old operating theatre today functions as a super interesting museum, yet given its gruesome past, high death rates, and that it was closed off for so long, it's really easy to think that this place could have a few ghost stories. During my visit to the museum, I had to ask whether any staff or visitors have experienced any paranormal occurrences there. And I was pleasantly surprised with some of the responses that I got. Apparently, an older woman shrouded in black clothing has been sighted inside the operating theatre. She's very upset, weeping and wailing. And some believe that she is either mourning the loss of a loved one who died in that area, or that she could have been one of the patients who didn't survive their surgery. There is also the apparition of another ghostly woman who's been seen inside the attic of the building and she is known as the woman in white. She glides around wearing just a white dress. I was also told another ghost story which is pretty extreme activity. So a staff member came in to set up the museum for the day and while she was opening, she heard a great noise come from the herb garret. She obviously went in to investigate and she found every single cabinet door and drawer opened. She has no idea what caused it because she's completely alone in the museum and some of these drawers are pretty, you know, hard to open. So having such a fright, she fled the museum and refused to return until the second staff member came on for their shift. They went back in together and lo and behold, this second staff member was able to confirm that all of the drawers and cabinet doors had been opened by some force. This was actually my second visit to the old operating theatre in London, which I love and I cannot recommend it highly enough. All the ghost stories aside, it has a very cool and gruesome history that's presented extremely well by the museum. You should go check it out. I would love to know your thoughts on this creepy little museum, so if you have any, please share them in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe so I can keep making more. If you want more information on this place or any other haunted locations that I've visited, head to amyscrypt.com. And until next time, stay spooky.